Hello and welcome to Wolverhampton Today with me, Helen Cash. Now, on today's show, I am joined with Helen Hibbs, who is the Clinical Accountable Officer for the Clinical Commissions Group. Now, Helen, could you tell us exactly what does the CCG do for the Wolverhampton and Black Country area? Yes, the Clinical Commissioning Group is a membership organisation. So the Clinical Commissioning Group is made up of all the GP practices in the city, of which currently there are 49 GP practices. Um, and all those GPs are members of the Clinical Commissioning Group who then buy the services uh, that people require on behalf of the population of Wolverhampton. We then have a governing body who have delegated authority from the membership of the Clinical Commissioning Group and I'm the accountable officer for that group. I also happen to be a GP in the city because I've been a GP in Wolverhampton for about 27 years, quite a long time. You've got £2.3 million earmarked to be cut for the next financial year. Could you tell us exactly what services the Clinical Commissions Group have been looking at, please? Well, what's actually happening is health money is ring-fenced, so, so we continue to um, receive the money that we've always had from central government, but growth is outstripping the money that's coming in. So we have a population who are uh, ageing, We've got more people who are living with more complex health conditions and we've also got more treatments that are available for people. So we've got more expensive medicines that are available. So each year we need more money than we needed the year before. What we've actually done is we've gone through a process to look at all our spend within the clinical commissioning group. So we've looked at every line of spend and, and from that we've looked at spend in areas where either we think things have moved on and we're perhaps not getting the value value for money that, that we were getting in the past, or areas of spend where we think the spend isn't directly health related, because we are a clinical commissioning group and we do have to have health outcomes as one of the measures. So, so on each of our services, we've looked at areas where we potentially could make some state savings, either by disinvesting in a service, which means taking the money away altogether and stopping that service, or, or decommissioning a service. Many thanks to our guest, Clinical Accountable Officer Helen Hibbs from the CCG, and it is nice to know that the Clinical Commissions Group will be taking your say seriously. So, check out that online survey, have your say, make your voice be counted.